How's it going, lads? Data here with episode 11, the actual finale of season one of rebuilding the lowest rated team in Italy, Trapani Calcio. In the last episode, we thought it was the end, but we just missed out on automatic promotion by a point. And now we find ourselves in the promotion playoffs, and it all starts here against Frosinone. The squad is ready to go. We have all the best players in. Everyone is full energy. Everyone is excited. And I am excited as well. Yet, I know that if we do not make it through, I think this series is over. Because I don't think I'm doing another season with 80 overalls in Serie B. Getting destroyed by uh, uh, Pordanone or something like that. So... The future of this series is in the balance of this playoff. Uh, it starts off against Frosinone here. After that, I don't know when the next game would be or how soon or if it would be against Pescara or if there's other teams involved. It says quarterfinal, but there's only four teams here, so I thought you would think that it's semifinal. But anyways, we're just going to hop right into it. There's no training to do. All the players are at full energy and the right players are in. Moses Oger is back in the lineup. The right subs are ready to go. And it might be a shorter episode. Maybe it's only one game. But we're going to kick it off right here at home at Stadio Polisportivo against Frosinone. We've worked so hard. We've lost so many brain cells. We've played so many games against the broken EA computer. We've been shamed on two goals, two shots by terrible teams doing five-star skill moves. We have the skill. We need to just focus today, boys. If we can just focus for 90 minutes, we can get promoted to City A. We can get a lot of money. We can fix this team up to get even better players and continue to rebuild the lowest-rated team in Italy, Trapani Calcio. They're no longer the worst. We're one of the best now, boys. We're one of the best. And we're going to take it all the way to... City ah uh, let's do it at home in front of all 2,000 fans whoever came out today 7,000 fans Jonathan Biabiani wearing the captain's band oh my goodness let's do it decided to keep it on world class for today there were some suggestions to move it to professional so I can get the promotion but professional we, if I go professional we already know what's gonna oh <laughs> piccoli uno zero who needs the professional world class baby piccoli my goodness the long shot i was thinking of putting petanati in the lineup since he had better pace but piccoli just showed me why i kept him in with a beautiful out outside the box uh long shot i'm a bit frazzled right now didn't think that was gonna happen usually it kills me for 90 minutes to just get two shots on net and we have an early goal right there. The whole team's dancing with them right there. Choreographed on who you, so you think you can dance. America's got talent. Roberto Piccoli, one goal in Calcio B. Playoff 1-0 Trapani. So like I was saying, if I go to professional, it's just going to be an automatic promotion pretty much. Like I was almost undefeated on professional. So that's why I want to keep it world class. I want to keep it real. I want to really grind for this victory. And if we get it, we know that we deserve it. Here's a chance for Salvatore Aloy. My goodness, another early chance. That one is stopped. He's left-footed. He's going to just look for the cross. Finds a little bit of space. Don't want to cross his head. Oh, my goodness. The head of Aloy soars right over the net. Almonte sees the line. He decides to run down it. Hurdles over Roden, who tries a filthy tackle on him. Look for space. Cut in right there. Oh, yes. Look for him at the top of the box. Salvatore Aloy ripped that. Ah, easy grab by Bastianello. Moscati to Oger. Rip that Oger. Oh, another big save by Bastianello. Moses Oger is hungry after being out for the last two, three games. He had a red card, and then we forgot to put him back in the lineup last game. Aloy through to Piccoli. That's definitely offside. That's a beautiful play, but that's offside, unfortunately. Oh, it was actually pretty close. It was only offside by a bit. Final seconds of the first half here. It has been all Trapani through the first 45 minutes. As Frosinone just trying to get something going, but we are playing a lockdown. Five shots on target for us. Just one for Frosinone and 59% possession. Perfect, boys. Let's keep it up. Bibiani gets it to Piccoli. Piccoli's off to the races. Come on, Piccoli, with your 50 pace. Run. Makes the pass. Rip that. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, goodness. Piccoli. What beautiful IQ. And Moses Oger finishes off the play. It's 2-0 here in the 58th minute. Trapani 2-0. 
with Pico Lee fighting 32 off of his back. He knows he's not going to get a good shot off with his left foot. Oger is sprinting in, no one's marking him, and he just bang, lets it fly, breaks the sound barrier once again. They call him Chuck Yeager for a reason. And it's 2-0 Trapani. Beautifully done, boys. Damonte decides to come back into the middle and he sees Copani. Gets fouled, but given advantage. Copani back to Del Monte, jumps over the terrible tackle, and then a left foot strike by Biabiani is stopped. A lot of attacks have broken down, but this half so far has been all Trapani once again, as it looks like we're going to hold on for this victory if we can just keep playing the same way. Probably going to bring on a few subs, because I don't know when the next match would be, so I try to get the main guys some rest. And the ball doesn't go out until the 89th minute here, so we'll try. To, the subs won't really do much, but just get some people some playing time here. Petanari, Koulibaly, Tolomelo, they can all come on for a few seconds so that they can uh, write down in their diaries that they had a good day. Tolomelo says he wants a goal for today, but the diary will not have that entry as Bastianello just puts it into his hands. And just like that, with two beautiful goals from Ricardo P Roberto Piccoli, scusate, and Moses Oger, Trapani takes a 2-0 victory against Frosinone, and they continue their journey for promotion. I'm very surprised that the game went that well. 54% possession and 8 shots on target. Only one shot on target for Frosinone. Not usually in such good favor, but thank you to the EA gods. Unless they're just stringing me along. They want me to get to the finals and then I'll lose 8-0 against Pescata or something. Post-match, let's see what garbage we got today. Comfortable win that sees you through the next round. What are your impressions on the match? I'm happy with the boys. Today's result puts you in a relegation battle. What went wrong today? But I won! What are you saying? It's not coming as a surprise. We just lacked the quality. I, what are you saying? Broken, broken media. I'm going to revoke your journalism uh, pass. Your media pass. Quarter, how pleased are you with your team's... Uh, how disappointed are you? Then how pleased are you? Come on, what kind of article are you writing? Okay, so there are other teams that were going on in a, in a separate uh, quarterfinal. So now the semifinal is against Perugia. If we beat Perugia, we will take on the winner of Pescara and Cratone. So right, right now, we have some time to, 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 to relax over here a little bit. Ben David, it's been really disappointed not being involved in the team. I know I'm not one of the top players, so I can get it. Yeah, okay, the season's over. My only options are to say, yes, I'm going to send you on loan. Go on loan so you can get playtime. Go on loan, it's your best option. Or go on loan, you'll come back stronger. Whatever. You need playtime, Bello. There you go. I can't guarantee. But I'm disappointed. In Keep uh, working hard. These guys, I'm trying to get promoted for you guys. And you uh, give me garbage like that? You want to go out on loan? It's the last two games of the season. Simulate all of these. Very nice. Positioning and goalkeeper diving goes up for Van de Voort. Interceptions and stand tackles up for Hoiver. Perfect. Alright, so it's the first of the month. We play on the fourth over here. Have a little bit of a break. Trapani in lukewarm form. Well, what does that even mean? Trapani hasn't been in the best form over the last few matches, but it hasn't gotten Biabiani down. We haven't won all our games, but we, we got to remember our winning performance. Ref Come on. And Juve won the Champions League? Mental. Man U win UEFA Europa League? Cool, cool. Let me guess, Eva Cool should be captain, right? Yeah, there he is. Eva Cool. he has the leadership skills, he should be captain. Yeah, well, if captaincy made ev all my players... Pl oh my goodness, everyone's tired. Made everyone play with plus 10 overall, then yeah, I'd put Eva Cool in. But uh, since it doesn't, there's no chance. Anybody else growing here? Piccoli has a 72, we knew that. I don't think anybody grew this month. Oger at a 68, that's a growth. He was a 67 before. Very nice. All those stats are looking good. Financially, what's he worth now? 1.2 mil. Not that I would sell him. Pielo and Fornazzi both at 68. One of them was at 67. All right, all right, all right. So heading into this next match, the semifinals, we have definitely some, uh, some tired legs out there. Uh, that's why we have good subs, but I think we're just going to roll with the same team, at least for the beginning. Uh, oh, Biabiani down to a 69 overall. Sheesh. It's true, now that he's 32 years old, the clock's ticking biologically. What's going down here? Acceleration's gone down 5. Sprint speed down 5. Uh, at least the rest of the shooting category and all that is still there. It's just the running. Just the speed, the pace that's gone down. But aside from that, we are good to go for the semifinals here at home. Stadio Polisportivo against Perugia for promotion. If we can win this, we go to the finals. 
It's a beautiful late afternoon in southern Italy. The sun is setting. Everyone's out on the beach. Everyone's watching Calcio in their houses, in their backyards, on their 20-inch TVs. Let's do it. Trapani and Perugia. Moscati dancing in nicely. To Biabiani. Just ripped that Biabiani. Ah, blocked by a defender. He hasn't scored in a little while. That is brutal. That wasn't even a breakdown in defending. That's just that guy celebrating all alone, the guy. Oh, man. Hoiver. Classic EA where the, the defender does not react or try to intercept the ball. Just watches it fly by his feet. <sighs> all right. one nothing early in this match. Defending everybody. Again, he celebrates all alone. Great job, everyone. Nice. Nice. How is this possible? Again, he celebrates all alone the third time. Armini, what are you doing? You're running away from the play. How is this? This doesn't make sense. It's 3-0 in the 30th minute. This has never happened in a Serie B world-class game. Why is the computer making it so hard? It's like I'm on Legendary right now with the passes that these guys are doing and the goals that they're scoring and my, the way my defense is not responding to anything. There he is. There he is. What is happening? The computer just decided that tonight... Let me just slide in as much as I can. These guys just anticipate my slide and do crossovers. Like, I understand I'm not playing super well, but how do these guys have, like, f is it four goals on four shots? Four goals on five shots these guys have. Four goals on five shots. When has this ever happened? I've never been down 4-0 in a first half. Final attack of the first half. Aloy crosses it in to nobody. And that's the end of the first half. Guess what the score is, everybody? 4-0. 4-0. Last game, I win 2-0. No problem. This game, it's 4-0. I've played against Perugia before. I've played against other teams on World Class before. You've seen them. Every shot is going in. And every attack is uh, Barcelona Tiki Taka. Let's just get this over with. This needs to be my most dominant half of FIFA that I've ever played in my life. Okay, puts it through. Finish that. Please finish that. Oh my goodness. Everything's offside. It doesn't make sense how good these guys are. The things that they do the moves that they make, the anticipation that they have. I don't, I don't need to be the one to say it all. You've seen the videos. The videos that just demonstrate how broken the assisted play of FIFA is. Assisted passing, anticipation, how the system knows everything. Oh, <laughs> you had a great attack and you kick the ball backwards and you just run over it? That was a great opportunity we had there on a wide open attack. Oh man. FIFA 20 is so broken. He just backs off the ball. He's about to go for it. That guy gets it first. He just stops. He backs off. Doesn't like try to attack. Doesn't try to defend. That guy, Hoiver, just passes it off that guy's feet. Bro, I've had one shot on net this entire game. I hate when the computer just scripts that. No, today is the day you're going to lose. Every shot that is against you will go in. And every shot that you take will be blocked. And every attack you have will not be able to manifest itself. Final rush of the season. Fouled, keeps going. Final rush of the series, I should say. How's it gonna end? Yeah, Biani getting shamed. No, he regains possession. Wide open shot. And what a fitting end to the series. As Bia Biani smashes it into the net to make the game 4-1. to one. Why couldn't that happen before, where they have a total breakdown in defending? It's always like I'm going up against uh, Pique, Umtsitsi, and Puyol. And now that time it was like I was going up against uh, Pee Wee Double B. A 4-1 loss 
for Trapani. I'm definitely not playing an entire season in Serie B next year. And there are 11, 10, 11 episodes of just grinding through Serie B. Definitely not going to see the media, that's for sure. Bro, I fought so hard on this team. But I was a victim of a poorly made garbage game. Yo, there's a second leg? What? Forza Trapani, Forza Trapani. We can still do it, boys. Everyone's dead tired. We're probably going to put the second team in, mostly. Forza Trapani. We can still do it. We can still do it. Okay, we're down 4-1 on away goals as well. Let me, uh, let me figure out uh, a squad. Squad is set. I do not care about world class anymore. We're going on professional. I could, I could just keep it world class and then go change the sliders here, as was suggested by GRB Gaming. But I think I'm just going to go to professional instead. And let's try and destroy Perugia. We are using the second team, though. So it's going to be a bit tough. I have all of the first team guys in the subs. I, this is how it's going to look. I have Hoiver, Oger in there, and Vandevoort. But aside from that, it's mostly the second team. But I have faith in them. We're down 4-1. We need to destroy Perugia. I do not care. I will not be beaten by EA's broken system. I'll put it on professional if I have to. From devastation to jubilation, it's the second leg of the Serie B playoff semifinals. Still not going to be easy on professional to score like three or four goals, but we can do it. We've scored six against uh, Atalanta or whatever. We can score a few against Perugia. All alone, this guy. All alone. Off the post. Where's the defense? I have to run in with the other center back. Where's the other guy? Okay. Here's Coupies now. Come on, Coupies. On net. Let's do it. Easy save. Take him out. That's it. That's what we like to see, boys. Take him out. He wants to do fancy little plays like that? You take out his legs. Good. Take him out again. The system wants to play games with you, where the, the ball bounces off the legs six times while you try to make a pass. You take him out, and you make sure his Achilles is torn. This guy's doing crazy dance dribbles around me. Just keep sliding. Just keep sliding. That's all you can do. And then it's offside. He never even got the ball. Why would you call it offside? Another broken half of FIFA. Big changes coming now. Here are the changes. We're putting Piccoli and Biebiani up here. Moscati's coming in on the right mid. Grillo's going to be playing left mid. Let's go. Rip that. Rebound. Oh, can't slide in and get it. 50th minute, still down by three. We have to score four goals. We have to win. We can't tie. We'd be down on away goals. We have to score four goals in this half. These guys just don't make mistakes. The slider for like CPU error, right? It's at 50 50, and then user error is at 50 50. But I think my slider for error is at 100, and the CPU slider for error is at zero, because no, you can't even get into the zone. It's the. Uh, it's uh, Fort Knox trying to get into the zone here. Rip that Bells, man. And then we tr do tr uh, rip it on net, it just f flies wide. Even on professional, can't get it, uh, even a single goal. It's as if I'm still playing on world class here. There's no difference today. Just that they're not scoring. The, their style of play is just as hard. Their passes are just as clean. Their defending is just as... See, I, I'm trying to pass to Moscati, and it makes it pass to that guy instead. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? Again, again! I said to pass it in the middle. It passed to that guy. Bro, it's, it's really sad. It's really sad how bad the game is. Even when I put it on professional, Saying this is a um, this is a level at which I can play comfortably and have fun. No, the computer has already scripted it for me to lose. So that's how they keep people angry and coming back. I'm so furious. I'm gonna pay a million dollars on Ultimate Team, etc., to keep playing. No, you lost me. You lost me. You made your game too crazy. It's too broken. Come back when it's fixed, and uh, you lost me as a customer. There's so many good videos that showcase how broken the game is from like actual facts, evidence, breakdown, controller mechanism, uh, very in-depth analyses. Petanati, he gets fouled, there we go. Good call, ref. Pen, finally, my first pen in like 45 games. 
Honestly, my first pet in about 15 games or 20 games, probably. Okay, let's just put it in quick and keep going. Tolomelo has 63 pens. No, are you serious? Uh, Bia Biani 65? Alright, Bia Biani it is. Top right. 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 There. Bing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be, boys. Not only did the goalie dive exactly where I wanted to go, if I had scored, it hits off the crossbar, even though I put it exactly where it's supposed to go with no extra power. The computer just reads it, boys. The computer just reads it and knows. The computer didn't go bottom left, top left, or bottom right. It went exactly top right at the exact point where the ball was going to go. Here's a run for Bia Biani, the old pig. Off to the retirement home after this season, that's for sure. <sighs> what are these fouls? Every game, I see that every single game. I'm running down the wing, they have one of those plays where they just put their feet in, and it's always a yellow card. But for me, doing something that is barely uh, foul-worthy gets a red card. Cross it in, nothing will happen. Just go for the legs, boys. Go for the legs. And of course, they hurdle over me, but I trip over them. Take out the legs, boys. Take out the legs. And that's it. Nil-nil the second leg, and we are eliminated. We're one of the best teams in Italy. But when you just get scripted, there's nothing you can do. 58% possession. Three shots on target. Oh, why'd I go for the interview? Whatever. Say whatever you want here. Will you continue to back Biabiani? Nope, he won't be playing because the season's over. Really tight contest. What was your overall impression? Uh, what's the worst one? We should have won. How about that? And the match ended with a draw. We needed a big win to overcome the first leg defeat. What's your take on the game? Uh, disappointing indeed. So that's it. Season's over. And we stay in Serie B. All these players are amazing. My goalie's going to be 85 overall by the end of next season. All these guys are going to be 85 overall by the end of next season. And we'll still probably not even get promoted on this world-class garbage. Loan offer for Ben... Nah, forget it. I don't care about this. We're not on track. Well, what did you expect? You gave me no money. You gave me no support. You berated me all season long. That's what happens. But the season's over, Ben David. Try and give Ben David a chance to play once in a while. The season is over. He can come play in my backyard if he wants to. There's no, there's no other playing time to give him. All right, season's ending here. Let's get the final season-ending mail from everybody. All right, end the season. Final mail here. Player loans have all expired on all these players that we had. Goodbye. Player returning from loans. No more conversations. Good. Let's end off the season and possibly end off the series here. Now the season comes to an end, the Tatani board is met to a review. While we didn't achieve all of our objectives, we believe that overall it was a satisfactory performance. We went from the worst team in Italy to making the Coppa Italia semifinals, and we should have been promoted. I hope you do better in the job. Thanks for thinking that I'm still the right man for the job, board. I could have just been promoted if I stayed on professional, but then it's too easy. Why does it have to be that it's so easy or it's so hard? But then I go back to professional, but I missed out on my chance because now the game had been scripted for a loss. Invites, yeah, sure, why not? Which one makes the most money? 2.5. Let's see what my budget would be for next season. If it's $1 million or something, I would, <laughs> I'm going to snap. European board, international cup, whatever. What is the budget for this season? 3.7 million euros. Oh, wow. Who's on this team, even? Who do I still have on this team? Vandervoort's up to a 79. That's crazy. Armini, 75. What's Vandervoort worth? Vandervoort is worth 10.5 million. Way more than that. Armini, 75. Piccoli, 72. And Zola is back. He is 69 overall, 23 years old. Jakimovsky is going to be leaving. Stan Campiano is leaving, so that'll give me a little bit of money. Stan Campiano, well, it's not going to give me much. But I'd have to fill up a whole other team with people on loan and buy players and with three million and then grind through another season. I'm really not down for that. So I think that's the end of the series, boys. We tried to rebuild it. It's just not rebuildable. Trapani Calcio is forever cursed to be a garbage team in the bottom tiers of Italy. It'll never make it back to City A. And its players are just disgraceful. Even though we worked so hard, we were scripted to lose. And it wasn't meant to be. So, 
I guess that's it. Unless there's a giant outcry for uh, for another season of this. Obviously, this isn't one of the bigger staples of my channel. Most episodes getting maybe a fifth of the views that NHL does. So I think we're going to retire this series, especially with that I have a new series with a new game coming out next week, which you'll all hear more about soon. But if you enjoyed me working my hardest to get this team going and grinding out game after game with headache after headache, hey, leave a subscription. Why not? Leave a like, leave a subscription. I'm putting out daily content here. NHL, FIFA, other gaming, like I said. Thanks for coming along on the journey here as we tried our best with Trapani, but wasn't meant to be, thanks to EA. Maybe we'll try in FIFA 21, but FIFA 20 is just so absolutely broken, and we saw that in so many episodes of this series. We made it through 11 long ones, but I think we'll call it. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.